had several people ask me how I gridded my painting when I was doing the close-up macro view of the painting of the peony. I use an app called Jackson's Art Grid. So I am going to demonstrate how I use it. It's very versatile. I usually paint my paintings freehand, but when I have to do something that's a close-up, like the center of a rose or the center of a peony, where there are a lot of swirls and twirling petals, I do grid it. So follow along, watch, and let me know if you find this helpful. Most of my paintings, in fact, almost all of them, I do not grid. I paint them freehand. I'll look at a reference photo or I paint them from life, especially my flowers. I like to paint my bouquets of flowers from life. However, if I am painting a macro close-up of something like a rose where it has multiple petals, I will grid that just to make sure I get the different segments in place. And the app that I use is called Jackson's Art Grid. You can get it on the App Store and I'll show you how I use it. When you open it up, it looks like this. And I'm going to select New Project. I'm going to get an existing photo. I've saved it in my favorites. So this is the photo I'm going to use. The first thing you can do is choose what size your canvas will be. So they have some preset standard sizes that you could choose, but mine's an 11 by 14, and for what, whatever reason, they have 11 by 15. So I'm going to switch back to the custom size, and then you can put in your height and your width. So I'm putting, now I'll put in the width. Okay, and then I'm going to hide this part. So this gives you the shape of what an 11 by 14 canvas would be and it has your image there. I'm going to go on up at the top it says next. Okay on the next screen you are allowed to expand or contract your photo. So if your photo spills over the edges or like in my case if it's too small, I'm going to hide this for a minute, you can make it so it fits exactly the size that you have. Sometimes, like in this case, I'm probably going to leave a little edge showing because I don't want it to go off the edge on all sides. I can just fill in out of my own imagination what would be at the bottom and the top. But this feature is very handy for you to position your photo within the size of the canvas. Let's see, let's see if I can get this part. So to get it back, uh, this would also allow you to flip the image left and right, or to rotate the image. So a lot of different options. The other thing that this screen has, if you'll notice up here it says a grayscale, it's off right now. If I turn the grayscale on, I can get my image in gray for a notan, which shows my lights and darks, and I could save and print it like this. So what I'll often do is I'll do one photo in color, and one photo in Notan to be able to just ignore color and get in my darks and lights. So let's continue with it in Notan. Next. All right, here's where you can superimpose your grid. For some reason, they always have measurements on. I'm going to turn that off. It takes out all those little things. I often do a 4x4 four four grid, but you can do whatever you want. Let me turn this off. So there you have your photo. It's gridded, and again, you can grid it as tightly or as loosely as you want. Once you're done with that, you then save it, and then you can print it. So I would send it to the printer. Once I've done that, I would go back in. It will save it for you as part of one of your projects, and I would go back in and edit it. I would get a second copy in color. And then I would do the same thing. So this is the app that I use. It's really handy. I use it, like I said, whenever I am gridding something, but I don't usually grid paintings. But something like this is what I'll be painting today, and with all those little petals, I want to really get them 
in place and don't feel like eyeballing it. All right, on to the painting now. I'm now going to start the block in of this painting. I've printed off a black and white copy from the Art Grid app, and I also have a color copy that I'll be using later on. For now, I'm going to be starting with the black and white. As you can see, it's gridded. I have the grid lines here, and so I mixed up a dark color for shadow. I'm going to apply it very thinly because I just want to block in where things are going to be. And then once I've done that, that often takes 15-20 uh, minutes if it's a painting of this size. Once I'm done with that, I will switch and do a time lapse because when I paint, I like to focus on what I'm doing and it's hard to talk and focus. For me, I can do one or the other well, but not both. So just to let you know what I'm doing, I'm going to be following this as a roadmap. I'm going to be blocking it in. So sit back and this is my block in of a rose. So there you have it. The original looked like this. This is the one I blocked in. It may look kind of messy, but to me it's a road map of where I would put everything. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below.